I can't help but find similarities between the Triwizard Tournament and the World Scholars Cup. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you'll know what I'm saying. Students from all over the world showcasing their caliber, competing in several tasks to win a cup. Well, if you think it's a no good comparison unless it has a Yule Ball, then there you go. The ballroom of world's tallest hotel, JW Marriott Marquis, was teeming with dancing scholars on Saturday night. In skirts, cocktail dresses, evening gowns, suits and ties, they all looked spectacular. The first scholars ball took place in 2011 at the Global Rounds Kuala Lumpur and since then has become a huge hit among the students. Speaking to Daniel, we found that there is also an interesting tale behind the origin of this tradition. It actually arose out of a linguistic misunderstanding. <laughs> we were looking for a host school in Vietnam, okay. and a school said we would love to host your event. The Scholar's Ball sounds very exciting. And I thought to myself, we don't have a ball, we have a, a bowl where we ask quiz questions, and that's very different than a ball. But then as I left that school that day, I thought, huh, we should have a ball. Scholars Ball is one event at the Scholars Cup tournament that every student looks forward to. It's a night for them to let their hair down, shake a leg and make some noise. My name is Lamia, Lamia Parker. And where are you from? I'm from India but I live in Dubai. And what do you find most fascinating about it? The Scholars Ball, it's amazing. I mean, have you seen the people out there? It's crazy, I love it. Do you love the Scholars Ball? Why are you sitting here, you know, they're dancing? Oh, I'm so tired. I think we've been dancing all night. <laughs> they have to wear this thing. How can they dance? <laughs> that is so true. Ruling the stage was Birch Wan, the World Scholars Cup Director of Social Stuff, as the DJ. And then it was time for the much-awaited dance-off between Daniel and Zach Ellington, the tournament director. While most scholars were having a time of their life, very interestingly enough, we also found some scholars sprawling on the floor playing chess amidst all this chaos. So now I know why they call it the nerd prom. <laughs>